Hi, this is Bill Dale of Solar Roofs. Cy Simpone is going to demonstrate how to install the Solar Loop, part of the Skyline 5 solar water heating system. Before we go too far, let's review the parts you'll need. As you can see, you should have the expansion tank, pressure gauge, Lang pump, vacation bypass assembly for platinum customers, hose bibs, and other miscellaneous parts. The copper tubing installation is covered in a separate training video. We also recommend that you tightly wrap the ends of these fittings with Teflon tape five or six times. Next, we want to be sure to have the right tools available. We pick back up with Cy here, installing the hose bib assembly into the open port at the bottom of the tank. This is the out for the glycol water mix which will go up to the collectors for another round of heating. Once that's in place, Cy can begin installing the remaining elements to the heat exchange kit, the parts with the charging valves connected to them. As Cy connects the parts together, you'll notice that he's careful not to over-tighten the parts. And that's because certain elements need to be pointing in specific directions, as you will see. Sai is about to install the brass fitting, which is part of the Lang D5 circulating pump. In this shot, you'll see the part appears to have initials JM marked on it. Those are the initials of the person that assembled and soldered it together. I tighten the bottom so from the bottom, but not too tight. Because I want this to be facing that way. So hopefully by the time this all this tight, this will go in that direction over there. Once we've completed this part, we move on to installing the vacation bypass valve. This assembly is available with our platinum packages. Now we're ready to install the expansion tank. And notice how Sai loosely placed that T fitting on top of the assembly he just completed. The expansion tank can be located in other places if needed. Be sure to use only the short screws provided for the expansion tank straps. This avoids puncturing the heat exchanger. You'll note here that Sai attached one end of that steel strap to the storage tank. Now he's tightening the T-junction. Now he's ready to attach the other end of that strap and really lock that tank into place. Sai is now installing the Lang D5 pump. Once he has that done, he'll go ahead and tighten up that T-junction a little more. And now he's ready to install the copper tubing for the solar loop. You do want to be sure that that copper tubing seats itself all the way down into the fitting. Be careful not to over tighten these compression fittings. You'll have an opportunity for final tightening during the charging process when you check for leaks. 
And this wraps up the assembly of the solar loop at the tank. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any additional questions, give us a call at 916-481-7200.